Why do I forget stuff that I need to know? Has this ever happened to you? You learn something in class and it makes sense. You understand it perfectly and you can answer the teacher's questions. Come time for the topic test, you go okay, but it seems like some of the learning is missing. Come exam time, you can't remember the processes or any of those quotes. It's like everything that matters has disappeared. Well, this is the way your brain is supposed to work. I'll spare you all the cognitive science, but your brain is designed to prune off the details, leaving just the big ideas or the branches. It's an efficient way of dealing with a complicated world. Your brain is in a constant and deliberate process of unstudying. But becoming an expert in a subject, which is what's required for VCE and school success, requires a deliberate fight against that process. In short, you need to convince your brain not to prune off all of these details. How do we do it? Now, this is pretty crude science, but I'll show you what it means. The red line is the standard tick the box student who comes to class and then crams before the test. They learn the material, do the topic test, and their brain quickly goes about pruning off all these seemingly useless details. The blue line is a student who pre-studies topics, creates notes early, maybe finds last year's material on MASCOM. They space their practice. You'll notice they spend similar amounts of time, but it's spaced out. After the topic test, look at what happens. But now look at what happens if they deliberately practice and revise over the next weeks and months leading up to the exam. Just short amounts of time each week. The difference is a student come exam time who is here versus a student who is here. If you follow a schedule something similar to this, whereas instead of doing the four hours of cramming the night before a test, you space your practice over a number of weeks, you'll literally get bored of the content because you know it so well. That's when you know your brain has committed it to long-term memory. But don't stop then. Cheeky brain can still jump in and prune it. Remember, your main job following a sack or a test is to convince your brain not to prune that information. And how do we do that? Through ongoing practice, once per week, following the test, all the way to exam time. Now, this could be setting aside 15 minutes for this spaced revision every weekend to recall that, that knowledge and remind your brain this stuff's important, so don't prune it.